What's going on, Plan Army? Jacob here, and welcome to another quick After Effects tutorial. So I know that I've encountered a lot of times that I can't get good quality out of After Effects, not meaning by like the effects and the, how this is designed, because this is a great program, but rather the video quality when you render it out, when you go to composition, add to render queue. There's a lot of confusing settings here. The default is lossless, and I'm going to show you how to get the best settings that you can, literally the best settings that you can, and then compress it down to something that you can use to watch and edit, and then it'll upload quickly to YouTube. So first what you're going to want to do is, uh, well first I'll explain what I was doing because this is probably your problem. I was exporting as an H.264. Uh, so this um, exports it as an MP4. So if you click here and click H.264, and we'll put on, there it is. Click the audio, uh, that's what it'll do, and this it results in this. And this is not good quality, especially because, I mean, you can see the fuzziness here, but this is 1080p Ultra Settings Far Cry 3, so this should look amazing. It should look something like this, which is the lossless render. The problem is here, it runs really slow because it's such a large file, so I can't really watch it, and it'll upload really slowly to YouTube. So what you want to do to get something that's high quality and upload to YouTube is render it out lossless, and when you're doing this, make sure, actually, we'll, uh, get rid of this, go back, hit composition, add to render queue, it'll be on lossless, but make sure you click audio output, because the normal lossless settings don't have it on. So click that, and then render it out, and you'll get what I have. Now from here, what you need to do is you need to get Adobe Media Encoder, and you probably already have this, because it comes with, I believe, any Adobe program. So if you have Photoshop or After Effects like I have, then you can go ahead and type in on the left sidebar here, Adobe Media Encoder and you'll find it, but I have a shortcut over here. So just open that up. Shouldn't take too long, it's um, like a 15 second boot time, I think. We'll wait for this to come up. And now the problem here is um, when I try to export with H.264 in After Effects, uh, After Effects is not good at compressing, so it kind of it sacrifices quality for the compressing. So it gets rid of the quality in order to make it smaller. But what we can do with Media Encoder is this is made specifically for the compressing. So we can grab our lossless file, put it in here, run it through, and it'll be really small and manageable, and you'll be able to watch it. So double click here, get your lossless render, put it in there. And it has a lot of presets for the settings that you want it out as. And you'd usually be using like 1080p or 720p, 30 frames per second but minus 60 frames per second because that's what I was recording at since it's really high quality. So if you want, you can go in and create another preset, which I did. You can click, um, I'll use this as my base, go up here to create new preset, you can rename it, and then the format should be H.264 here, which will create an MP4. And then um, have this up, and the thing that I changed was I changed this to 60 frames per second instead. But since I already have that preset set up, you can go over here and make sure you have that preset selected and I do and then you can choose where it will render to so we'll call it lossless render compressed right there and then you can just hit queue up and it doesn't take very long it takes about the same time as your render time sometimes a bit quicker so it's almost done And there we go. All right, so now we'll just go back into our Far Cry 3 renders, and you'll see our render, lossless render compressed. You can open it up, and it'll have the same quality that your lossless render had, but you'll be able to actually watch it. And you'll see here, it's 30 megabytes instead of 2.6 gigabytes. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.